remember that Madonna song from the 80s? Okay, it's not like that, but my boss told me I couldn't get a first time reference into my video, so naturally, I had to try. On a serious note though, it was the first time for a few Marines visiting Mountain Home Air Force Base for a week of training. This was my first uh, joint forces operation and I didn't really know what to expect. I've never interacted with Air Force uh, my entire career. Now, working with the Air Force for the first time is fine and all, but I'm talking about something flashier. This is the first time we've really got to work with those other type model series, those other platforms, so this is the most integrated uh, uh, deployment for training we've ever done. Okay, working alongside other aircraft is nice, but we're not quite there. Think Madonna big. We were able to bring in all four elements at once. We had, obviously, the Marine B-22 Ospreys. We had Army Apaches in the overhead. We had Navy SEALs on board, and then we actually got to fly not only with, but in formation with jets from the Air Force. There it is. The Marines got to play with jets and helicopters while flying their B-22 Ospreys. And let me tell you, it was awesome. It was my first time, too, actually. First time flying in what appears to be the offspring of a jet and a helicopter. The, uh, our endearing term, the plopter, is that one yeah. you're looking for? Yeah, so they probably wouldn't like me saying that. A lot of people don't like that, but half plane, half helicopter seems to fit for me. Oh, and I almost forgot the seals. And that's probably the first time SEALs have been depicted as stick men in a news story. It, it's hard to describe, but up till now, I, I, I've been doing this for two years total, um, and it has been all training. And this is the first time that, personally, I've been able to see all of the baby steps we've taken uh, come together and culminate in a mission-type uh, flight. And I would do this every day if I could got to incorporate the Air Force into it, working with their A-10s as our close air support uh, platform, something that we've never done before. It's something that that platform is very good at. It's the first time for everything. I honestly cannot imagine stepping off this aircraft for the last time. I just can't. I love every day that I get to go out and fly. Spend, I don't know, 80% of my time in an actual office doing some more staff work. And sometimes I can get frustrating, but like I said, once you get on the airplane, strap it on, that's what makes it work. Senior Airman Shane Mitchell, Mountain Home Air Force Base, Idaho.